Guys, that's your coming at you today in Raid Shadow Legends. Welcome to the video. I'm not alone. I'm joined by Tyraku, first time collab man. How you doing? Welcome to the channel, bro. I'm doing great. Thank you very much for having me, Ash. Very much appreciate it. Um, I was telling you a little bit earlier, but I used to watch you a long time ago. So this is, it's a little bit surreal. It feels a little different. It feels, it's awesome. I love it. I used to watch Ash when, he, when doing Clash Royale. Uh, mm. It feels like a long time ago. I don't know how long ago it was though, but I used to be big into Clash Royale. Uh, so those good times. I think I watch when you're doing some tournaments and stuff. But this is awesome. Thank you very much for having me on. Yeah, dude. I, it's, I I'm honored. Thank you. I've been I'm a dinosaur. I've been around for about a decade now. So I started with Clash of Clans, Clash Royale, and and here we are in Raid Shadow Legends, and I'm loving it, man. So I actually uh, speaking of loving, I love your channel too, man. You're uh, so just some amazing content out there, and, and you don't collab very often, so I feel very wow. special about having you here on the channel. And we're going to discuss, uh, we actually collabed on your channel as well, talking about our MVP Rider Dies. I'll link that uh, for you guys. Check out Tyraku's channel. Actually, we're going to talk about solo champions, the best solo champions in the game. Uh, champions that can solo well, like end game content in Rage Shadow Legends. Some of these champions you might have in your vault or whatever, you can pull them out, upgrade them with confidence, because these are some beasts that we rely on. Uh, I say all that, but I, I'm very curious. I feel like I should know this. I feel like everybody's going to make fun of me in the comments, but where did Tyraku come from? What, what's the origin of that? It's <laughs> a good question. Thank you. I need to know. Yeah, honestly, um, the origin of my name was a random name generator. So I used to play World of Warcraft. Okay. <laughs> and I had a name back then. I thought he was joking. I was like, you know what? I don't like this name. I'm going to change this name. So I went to a name generator and it ran a few times. Like, okay. This name popped up and it was like Ty something. Like, that's kind of cool. And another one popped up and it was the Raku part, but I don't know how it was spelled. I was like, okay, let's combine those two names together. And then over time, it kind of shifted some letters with making alts in World of Warcraft. And uh, now we landed at Tyraku. First of all, I thought it was like some anime thing that everybody's gonna make fun yeah. of me or something. <laughs> that like, I have no idea. No. But my name is the same freaking way. It's the same, same oh, really? story. I played EverQuest predating World of Warcraft, and I random uh, generated a name, and it was Ashlane. Is that normally a girl's name? And then I started playing Clash of Clans like a decade later, or a de more than a decade later, and I kept Ashlane, but people called me Ash for short, and the rest is history. Mm. Here we are playing some raid. Uh, so yeah. you're the guest, man. You go first. Give us, uh, you know, your first choice. We're gonna name ten, five each of our favorite solo champions in the game. Who you got first? man all right so i'm going to start off with um a little bit less gear requirement champions moving into champions who are a little bit more in-game stuff um so the first up is going to be tila gourmet okay who i don't have oh. but she was one of the <laughs> most i guess free to play accessible champions who could solo spider 20 i know and i think she could probably do ice golem as well um a long time ago she was a champion who nobody cared about they no. pulled her and they're like oh this is a garbage champion um, but now she's amazing. She has the A3 ability, a, le a leech, and a hex, um, which is fantastic. Leech is like a life steal set built in. Yep. Very close. And the A2 is an AOE HP burn, but also places continuous heal buff on all allies for two turns. So, I mean, she brings heals, she brings leech, she brings hex, she brings HP burn. It makes her like the perfect candidate for solo and Spider 20 specifically. Now, Spider 20 is fairly earlier game. I guess I could say that, but honestly, ton of people are going to be farming that but as yeah. a solo champion spire 20 is weirdly enough like the most efficient place if you're looking for good experience for your food champions as well as decent gear drops um but yeah spire 20 is definitely a good spot to farm and tila is a very solid champion to solo farm spire stage 20. That's a great call out, man. I wouldn't have had her on my list, not because I don't like her, but just because I haven't used her to solo stuff. And you're absolutely right about her buffs. have just been insane. Like she's really, yeah. really, really good now. Uh, I even forget how good she is, like going over her kid again, you know? Now I'm gonna assume that all of the champions on your list, unless you tell me otherwise, are gonna be like ideally in regen and immortal for the most part. So tell me otherwise, if you run them like in toxic or whatever the heck you run them in. Okay, yeah. Okay. All these, all these are gonna be in regeneration immortal. Okay, okay. I'm gonna go, with my absolute favorite i think this is the champion that i use the most i am so lazy i could do a nishak bommel team right but i yeah. already have lady annabelle she's already built to solo you know and you know i feel like this is a, i almost hesitate saying this but i feel like plarium for all their faults they've done a really good job saving us time with super raids and with uh clan boss quick battles that with all my save time I'm like, ah, who cares? I'll auto farm and it take 10 minutes per run or whatever it is with Lady Annabelle on Bommel. Uh, the fact that this red lady, 
literally on the passive that she can solo bomb all uh is incredible like an epic champion she's a pretty good champion in her own right she has like a pretty cool a3 that i'm not going to read and then she has the aoe leech decrease speed as well turn meter uh but really it's just about the re it's a heals a chain by 50 percent of their max hp whenever an ally or an enemy dies including all those bommel bombs right so she just okay. like keeps healing herself you know and that's it <laughs> I mean, that, it's as easy as that it's awesome yeah. i uh, actually pulled her recently and i was wondering I guess that was a specific thing that she does to solo bomb because I've seen it done a lot. Yeah, um, but I never actually built her out. So that's yeah, cool. like she can just war master her way through and just keep healing her on the healing herself on her passive. And every time she takes all that damage from from the bombs dying, she just heals it all back up. You know, so it's nice and easy. Sweet. Yep. It's awesome. Hey. What? I just want to take another look at you. Yeah. Damn. That's who you got next, Tyrock? So my next champion is going to be a champion who I used to be a massive fan of. I've done so many videos on this champion, um, at least three or four at this point. But then when hard mode dungeons got released, I stopped doing videos on him. Uh, it's Crypt King Grawl. Okay, good um, call out. Good call out. He is, he's not only great for solo, he's actually good for Hydra. Um, I don't use him much anymore, but he is a fantastic solo champion. If you're still doing normal mode dungeons, uh, Spider and Ice Golem 24, you can do both of those 100 consistent um i tested all that stuff out but stage 20 is a much easier as far as the gear requirements as you can imagine going from stage 20 to 24 it's a pretty big difference um but crypt king is super cool because he brings a freeze he brings an hp burn and he brings a decreased attack as well so for ice golem decreased attack the slams are not as threatening at that point um crypt king's kit in general is just very good for control hp burns always great uh so definitely a champion. if you're looking to solo content High school inspire 24 or even stage 20 awesome champion i feel like he doesn't get as much love as he deserves he can solo some uh doom tower balls so i think scarab king maybe but i don't do those too much maybe griffin i don't know he can do okay. some solo stuff there too but I, I don't do that anymore yeah i'm wondering so i pulled him you know recently within the last six mm -hmm. months or so and i built him but i haven't really used him yet for the most part but i wonder if he would be an improvement a solo improvement for me uh, over any of my, you know, my choices right now. Because you're right, like, he brings so much control, burns, can't be resisted, uh, and the decrease attack as well, I forgot about that. Then Plus, he's fast and has good base stats as well. Uh, so yeah, good call out there. I actually forgot that his HP burn can't be resisted on that A3 ability until you said that. I didn't even remember that. No that big deal, man. He's got it better. all. Yeah, 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 yeah. He does. He's not on my list, but I can't get through any video without talking about Walking Tomb Drang. <laughs> so I'll just give him a quick, yeah. quick little shout out. I used Walking Tomb Drang for an irresistible kind of. He doesn't solo content, so I couldn't include him. But he duos with Godseeker for me and Sand Devil Twenty Five, as well as mm -hmm. with uh, with Elva Autumnborn in Ice Golem Ten. Uh, but anyway, I digress. I digress. Uh, Elva, my my great. next is gonna be. Uh, a champion that you know like he's been around for a while since doom tower uh but i still uh i still love the dude and it is uh euro soul cage so okay. he's uh he's demon spawn well, what the heck is he? undead undead I... man i don't go looking at euros too much he doesn't know what he's doing but anyway there he is he's the i think the second or third doom tower hard champion that you get uh in the game but this dude's a monster, man. Like one thing about him is I did a, I recently did a whole full guide on him for my Raid Shadow Legends Champion Guides channel. And I was just shocked at how much he can do in terms of beyond just soloing content, which I will like digress and defer to another video. But he's got like an incredible provoke. He's got uh, just a, an insanely good passive that puts poisons all over the place every time he's attacked. He's an amazing carry, a champion. Strength and ally protect on a three-turn cooldown. A boatload of HP. I mean, he's got it all. And I use him to solo Scarab King. But he can truthfully solo like quite a few Doom Tower bosses as well. So he is just a solo beast, in my opinion. Uh, do you have him? Do you use him? I, I do have I do have him. I used him yep. a while back. I did a video on him solo and some content, yep. um, but I haven't used him recently. I think I used to build him in Frenzy at one point. Okay, maybe, but the that old... was pre <laughs> yeah. Frenzy basically. Yeah, I mean, yeah Frenzy yeah. was cool, and now it's like, <laughs> what am I? What am I even gonna do with this? I don't want this nonsense on my champion. So any solo content with him in Frenzy, it's irrelevant. Got you now, but uh, he can still solo like you're saying. Excellent, excellent champion. One of the top boys in the game. 
one sec broke up is it back uh now? yeah your, your, your audio is yeah uh, just finish that uh point <laughs> yeah uh your Urgrim is one of the top void epics in the game, without a doubt. So awesome champion for sure. Yep. And look at that little head, man. Just, just, just. You know, I love, I love how he just. I love his aesthetic. He just keeps oh, yeah. wobbling and just peeking out with his little squid head yep. or whatever. Who you got next? <laughs> All right, next up is going to be actually a very similar champion to Earl. Uh, yeah, to Earl Grim. It's Bad El Kazar. I feel like they're like. I feel like Bad El is like the legendary version of Earl Grim. Their kits are very similar in a lot of ways. Yep. Um, Bad El solo dragon and ice golem 25 um once again this is the earlier part of my list so it's going to be champions who are a little bit more easily accessible with their gear battle is a very unique champion though because his kit's super simple i mean he brings the uh cleanse and he places poisons so things that can be affected by poisons he does great and cleanses himself fantastic um but with that said battle Excellent for Ice Golem and Dragon 25. I used to use him with Frenzy Gear, though it was changed, so I don't use him that anymore. <laughs> I think he's one of the champions who can actually be built without Regeneration and Immortal. You may need one of the two, yep. but he brings so much continuous heal on himself anyways. If you can build him super tanky, if you can, I think I've seen him done in Reflex Gear, maybe Relentless Reflex as well. Reflex is, uh, is how I run him for that same okay. point. The, having oh, two sweet. continuous heals on a three turn with Reflex, only one available skill for that cooldown to go to. You're right. He doesn't yeah. need uh, often, depending on the gear that you have on your account, obviously, but he doesn't need uh, the regen and Immortal. Yeah, like he's a he's a relatively easier champion to build because I feel like a lot of people are missing Regeneration and Immortal with certain stats to you know solo yeah. content. So Battle is very open-ended on what you can do with him. I'm looking at mine right now, and actually I used to have him, I currently have him in Frenzy, which is, I need to take that off because it's doing nothing. <laughs> yeah, poor you and all your Frenzy gear, huh? I, I know, see. it's all useless. We have a 3X uh, regeneration right now, but by the time this video goes live, it's gonna be over. It's gonna be just ending, unfortunately. But yeah, I mean, it's a good time to farm uh, Fire Knight whenever you see those for regen sure. for videos like this or builds like this. Next up, I have uh, a champion that most everybody probably has, and that's Ultimate Death Knight. I don't use UDK as a solo champion on my main account, but I use him on my mini account, and I use him frankly just to farm up uh experience and food like while i farm overnight or on that account right it saves you a lot of energy in the process he's got continuous heal he's got his shield uh but most importantly he's as didn't need him right uh increases his hp defense and speed by 10 percent for each dead ally so the food dies and he's like this uber tank who's just like yeah. he can just solo content like a beast and i mean there's so many videos out there covering ultimate death knight you can use a toxic set uh or you can use just re Gen and Immortal on Ultimate Death Knight. Toxic will make things move faster, but obviously the uh, the stat thresholds are going to be a little bit higher there. Uh, but yeah, man, I mean, he's he's got the type of, and the decreased attack too, to mitigate that damage, make sure he stays alive, right? So you can yeah. use this guy in so many ways. Uh, he can be a he can be a spider tank, he can be a solo beast, or he can be an arena stone skin beast. So there's a lot of different ways to utilize UDK, but uh, solo is definitely one of them, and it's a strategy that I still use on my mini, as I mentioned. Well, yeah, UDK is crazy good free champion yes what well, was free champion yeah. yeah uh i can't believe it's already been a year like they they had this like wow. birthday party or whatever the heck it was mm -hmm. like yeah. last month or something so uh yeah it feels like he just was released but it was a whole year ago dang time flies it does who you got next man who you got next, next? up speaking of free champions is going to be one who was not a year ago thankfully it is artak who is talking now i mentioned him in our collab over my channel as well yep. but he um Solo's Spider, Stage 5, and Ice Golem, Stage 5. Um, but I use him to duo Stage 10, hard mode. Both of these are hard mode, not Stage 5. Yeah. At first, I was uh, like, <laughs> I did a quick double take. I'm like, Stage 5, huh? Tyrocky, yeah. congratulations. <laughs> yeah, Solo in Stage 5 with Artax. Here's your trophy. <laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. But Stage 5, hard mode. Um, yes. We're moving up now. It's a little bit higher gear requirements, but regeneration. Um, I believe Regeneration and Immortal, though actually right now, I have him in Regeneration plus Defiant, but if you don't okay. have Defiant, actually I would just say try Regeneration Stage uh, Ice Skull, as well as uh, Spider, you may just need Regeneration. I mean, he's strong affinity, so there's no crits coming, a lot of weak hits, it's a little bit lower on hard mode, really you're going to push for stats, Regeneration gear, ideally get him some HP coming back, and then he's going to be a solid champion. Use him in Stage 5. Whenever you get the ability to or the champions to move up to stage nine or even stage 10, hard mode of both those dungeons can be done duo uh, very consistently. Actually, like 100% consistent. 
which that's the best consistency. I love that call out because I, I underutilize our tech, man. I'm guilty. I'm super guilty on on under. I, I had run them in my spider uh, hard 10 team and that's it. But it's really cool, the solo stuff that you can do with this dude as well, to your point. Artac is amazing in Hydra as well. The exact same build that you use for soloing those areas of the game, Ice Golem, yeah. and, Dra or Ice Golem and Spider, doesn't work on Dragon. Um, it's going to work in Hydra as well. Sorry, my brain got all off track there. But I'm a huge fan of that because a lot of champions, you might build them for solo content, and they don't really translate great into other areas. But Artac, Hydra build, a solo content build, they're all the same. They work fantastic. I use them the same build. In Hydra as well. Love it, love it. Uh, up next for me, and by the way, just quick apology on Tyraku's video. Uh, we're in the middle of like a hurricane here, both of us. Uh, so, uh, or bad weather or whatever. So, yeah. uh, you know, we'll uh, we'll do they're doing the best we can here, guys. Don't make unnecessary journeys. Let's play Raid Shadow Legends. Next on my list is going to be. Uh, I just did a video on this champion, and I freaking love him, man. Uh, it is Mycelliac Priest Orn. Uh, this dude is so cool. He's the he's a very fun guy. I don't know if you've heard the, uh, but he's a very fun guy. Get what I, I see? What I did it. there. See I what love I did it. There? I love it. Put a dad joke alert. He's got the poisons on his A1. On the A2, he's got instant activation, and on the A3, he's got more poisons, poison sensitivity, and uh, it basically increases his defense every time a poison's activated, right? So you add all of that to an HP-based champion, an epic no less, that has a lot of HP that you can scales up nice and easy, throw him in regen and immortal, and this dude can solo content like better than, you know, I mean, I don't think he's better than Dark Kale, I'm not saying, but like he's not squishy. So he's able to solo stuff, which is really, really nice. Uh, so I just put out a video on my Cilia Priest Orn if you guys wanna check it out, but I slept on this champion for a while and he has a lot of potential. Oh yeah, for sure. Does is he still in your faction wars for some uh, watches? No, I mean I, I'm sure he could, but he doesn't. Okay, <laughs> okay. actually, faction wars. Someone watches is open today. I may have to try that. I'm pretty sure he can because I, I imagine is, he could, right? Yeah. Yeah, Venomage is pretty close to him as far as a kit in some ways. Not everything, of course, but Venomage can solo the faction basically. Um, used to could solo like Dragon, but they changed one champion on Dragon, and it like made the whole solo thing just kind of get ruined on Venomage, but. Orn is awesome. I was wondering if he soloed the faction or not. So Yeah, we'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll try to run him in the background. I've been slacking so much on Sylvan Watchers, but let's go ahead and let's, let's see. Let's it's the see. only champion I, you need. I don't even know if I have him. Uh, he's not soloing right now because I'm going to try to get to stage 21 in a second here, but I wonder if I even have gear on him right now. Uh, we'll see. Either way, <laughs> who you got next, Tyraku? All right, next <laughs> This is your last, is, right? What's it? Yes, it's my last okay, one. Okay, okay, who you got? It is the champion who's definitely the hardest as far as the gear requirement. Um, it's actually was not on my account where I tested this. It was on my dad's account. He built out the champion. He, oh, your um, dad plays Ray Shadow Legends? Yeah, my dad plays Ray. That's cool, cool, man. I wish my dad played. Yeah, my dad plays. <laughs> actually, I got into it, got him into it, and then I got back into it, so now we're both into it. That's cool. But it is Corvus. Uh, let me see, see what faction he's in. Sacred Order. Okay, I need to read yeah. his kit because I've not used him a ton other than on my dad's account to showcase him. But he is a very high gear demanding champion. I believe he's plus one in power or plus two in power. My dad's account, all great. Oh, so your dad's living. a whale too. Look at that. Well, he's, actually, he's actually pretty low spin, which is, okay. I'm like, dang, you just got some crazy he's luck. Got lucky on, yeah, yeah. Significantly lower spin than I've been, um, which he's got some really good gear, really lucky on the awakenings. Uh, but either way, Corvus, solo dragon, I believe it was stage nine. Uh, stage nine, I believe is the spirit affinity, which you're going to have to, you know, not go to stage 10. I don't know what kind of stats are required to go to stage 10. You can void affinity, you get crits and everything like that. It's a disaster. But stage nine, he's magic, Corvus. Uh, the dragon is spirit. So Corvus gets through the stage solo, I believe in like two minutes or something. So it's like the time it takes for a, like a, a normal team-ish to run, but he does it by himself. And basically he's like a, a Venom Mage on steroids in a way. I mean, he has an awesome kit. Brings a lot of cool stuff, the poisons, the activations, and some uh, damage mitigation whenever enemies are under poison. So that's kind of what's similar to Venom Mage and Corvus. I awesome love champion. this dude, man. Go ahead, sorry. Do you have him? Do you have I him? I do, I do, I do. Okay. I don't use him that much, but I love like, yeah. aesthetically I love him, I wish you'd say. He reminds me of like a to total like uh, Black Plague-ish, like oh, yeah. medicine doctor type thing, you know? 
Yeah, his his aesthetics are super cool. His kid's incredible. Like I should probably find a way to use him more, you know? A dragon solo stage nine? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's pretty high gear though. Okay. That's cool I don't think though. I could do it. That's a really good call out though. I uh Corvus the Corrupter. Uh shout out to Tyraku's dad. If you're watching, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> so Very we well. got a uh my last is gonna be so I wanna give a I wanna give an honorable mention, right? There's actually a ton of champions that can solo content that we did not include. But oh, yeah. I should give a shout out to Drexstar. To me, Drexstar is very similar. Not identical, but very similar to a Euros of the Soul Cage, right? That he can go in there and he, plus he has like a nice kind of built-in lifesteal on the heel on the A1. So Drekstar is, is I think he's kind of the OG Doom Tower solo champion or duo, duo champion. Uh, but I wanted to give it to a dude who actually, you actually probably have done more content on this champion than I have, man. So I'm surprised okay. and it's not a rare it is not an epic, and oh. it's not a legendary. <laughs> it's Shield Guard. Uh, and I'm not even kidding, right? I think that Shield Guard is a, especially early game, especially if you're a low spender or free to play in this game. Shield Guard, he has a two turn AoE cooldown, fills his champions by 20% on each critical hit. Uh, he's a defense based champion. And that's it. He's easy to keep alive because he's defense base for an uncommon. He's filling his turn meter, basically getting another turn, filling the turn meter after he uses this. But it's on a two turn cooldown, which you put that all together. You throw him in a little uh, a, a mortal regen and like the dude's unkillable. So for Minotaur's Labyrinth and farming masteries, he's really, you know, a super accessible uncommon champion that can farm up all your masteries in a pretty reasonable time. Uh, do you have anything oh, yeah. to add to him? Because you're the guy who, I feel like you have like a few really good shield guard uh, videos. Yeah, so I, I, I know I did at least one, maybe two, maybe more. <laughs> I, I could be making him. it up, man. No, but, I think, but, yeah. no, I think you're right. Yeah. I know I've done some videos on him. Let's see if mine's yeah. built. Um, I do know that with him, um, I think I've used him with uh, lifesteal gear. I haven't, I haven't tried it with. No, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. It's lifesteal. Because you're right. That's a good call out. Well, he's probably from the campaign. So if you're trying to get him and you're like you're an early game player and you're trying to get him, it's some of the Deadlands. So you can just farm him. So super easy to get, like you're saying. But super simple kit, two turn cooldown and fill in the turn meter. But the lifesteal works so good because it procs Warmaster specifically on the Minotaur itself. Like he's not going to die. And being a defense based champion, you don't have to worry about, oh, uh, my Kale, I got to build him for attack plus defense and HP and accuracy and everything. Yep. With Shield Guard, it's just, okay, defense, crit rate, crit damage when you can get it, and then make sure he's relatively fast. Buy his masteries, and you have a very early game champion who can farm Minotaur for a long time, relatively quick too. Now, you're not going to use him way into the late game, of course, No. but very solid early game champion that everybody has access to. So I I do like exactly. that mention, and I'm surprised he was not on my list. Me like too, man. Me too. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you're absolutely right. Now you use Sun Wukong, right? And, uh, yeah. And Mino, mm -hmm. yeah. So he could be on the list as well. There's a lot. Yeah. Uh, There's I, I, another honorable mention before I let you go is uh, Gerda Bogbrew, right? Like she's a login champion and everybody thinks she, she sucks. But I had YST on the channel talking about how she can solo like basically better or faster, I should say, than Battle Kazar. So, I okay. mean, there's a lot of them out there. And I feel like we re re we'd be remiss not to mention Cornelia as well, right? Speaking yeah. of YST, right? Yeah. So, exactly. I mean, there's a lot of champions that we left off the list, but we kind of went with the champions that we use or for, have more first in experience with. Uh, mm -hmm. So let us know which champions that you guys use to solo content that we did not mention or if you use any of these choices. Uh, Tyraku, thanks so much for coming on, man. It was a pleasure, yes. uh, you know, going down these solo champions. I don't think I've ever made a solo, like, list type ranking type video like this before. Well, thank you very much for having me on. And uh, wow. this feels as if all my work doing solo champions like i i set the solo champions overnight to run i do like 100 battles to test and so often they fail so i get up and reset it um so it feels like the energy paid off now that i can actually come in and say hey i can confidently say that these champions solo very consistently so yeah I feel like absolutely it's all worth it. man Thanks. absolutely well thanks so much for coming on lending your expertise to this video guys check out tyraku's channel and I'll, I'll try to link the collab that we did on his channel as well if not you could find it there will be in his recent videos thank you so much for watching and as always take care guys